So the focus of my current research is on uh, skeletal muscle regeneration and in developing new therapies for uh, severe muscle diseases using different tools from gene and cell therapies to tissue engineering and more recently using more and more uh, inducer pluripotent stem cells also for disease modeling and drug screening. In that undoubtedly sort of boosted my confidence, which is always good. Um, sort of I felt rewarded of years of hard work and I had many more collaborators that approached me um, and we started to write grants together and things like that. So uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely helped. I think things are moving quite nicely now. Um, I mean, I've, 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 I'm sort of completed, completing some papers that were uh, sort of pending, and the main one is the actual main story linked to my award last year. So it's about to get sent out, so probably that's the main achievement. Let's see if we're going to get something out of it now. So hopefully I'll see my research, uh, I won't say finding a cure for muscular dystrophy because it could be uh, a bit too much, but I hope at least to have developed something that could have reached um, the level of uh, clinical experimentation in, in 10 years time for, for muscular dystrophies. Just follow your dreams. Um, you cannot really predict too much. You cannot micromanage your career too much. So I think just follow your dreams, be rigorous and creative at the same time, and just go with the flow. Uh, this is the most difficult question. Um, I don't know. Probably I would have... I wouldn't change a thing um, because I think most of the best ideas just come out of unpredictable scenarios. So knowing too much sometimes is not necessarily a good thing. 